Hello everyone, it's Maureen. Today I'm gonna show you this very broad view of my desk. I had a really great time this morning um, creating stuff for my my adventure, the adventure of Amber Frost Willow. And um, I'm currently standing up to see in my camera if you can see everything that I have. Um, well, not completely, but that's that's fine. Um, yeah, I promised to take you along on my journey, on um, the journey of creating uh, this beautiful story that is unfolding with Amber and we also have Silva and well, there will be more creatures and encounters and places to go. So this morning I took out my cards, my story engine, cards which I keep in these handy plastic containers. I have my dice and I also took out the oracle cards again and I sat down I then also light a candle to set the mood to calm myself down before I set about to draw all these cards. What I wanted to do here is to create elements, different elements, that are not connected to the story yet, but that I want to have on hand the next time that I want to see well, what will happen, that I can draw on these elements and that will then show me the direction of the story with Amber and everything that she needs to learn and that she wants to learn and that will happen to her. Because in a way, I'm treating this like... Like, a, like you would play a game, a, a role-playing game, where the dice and the cards show you the way that the story evolves, the story that I'm telling. And so, yeah, I need all these elements, and I figured that it would be nice for you to see how this goes about. I mean, this is very clean now. Um, like five minutes ago, there were cards all over it, and there were things tucked here and tucked there. <laughs> it was a creative chaos, and I'm sorry, I forgot to uh, I forgot to take a picture. And yeah, so what did I do? Well, I made these elements. Let me show you like this one. So I have a grail, which is wise. The grail can be wise or it can be that it grants the power of being wise. It can grant knowledge, you know. So wise is a descriptor that goes with this grail. And it is called the grail of journeys. And there is something that the grail wants to find a path home. Or maybe it is used for Amber or for one of the creatures she encounters that wants to find a path home. And there's also a thing that says their only lead is. So once I pull this um, story element, I will then see how these connect and how these connect to the story and then I can also see if I only need this first part you know of um, finding a path home or if I need to want to expand on it to see what that lead is. So this is an example of the story element that I made this morning. Then there is this this is a this is a more um, elaborate one. There is also a very simple one like this, which is called the Tome of the Passenger. And there is also a relatively simple one here that says Box Singing and Polish. So it is a very polished box, very shiny. And it is either singing when you open it, or it is called the Singing Box and it doesn't sing. I don't know, <laughs> we can do lots of fun and interesting things with this but for now this is the the lead the clue 
And then I have these very more elaborate uh, things like this one. So this is a key that is kept in a specific location and this location is a greenhouse which in turn is sitting on a terrace and this was a coincidence i pulled a card that said dramatic rock columns arches or formations and that ties in so beautifully with this terrace being you know not on a simple flat thing but yeah, on a more dramatic uh, location. It also feels like it ties into the spire that Amber has climb, is climbing up on, you know, the stair on the spire. So this is a more elaborate one. It has more clues, it has more direction. And then I wanted to have a theme for this clue and it said journey. So yeah, it can be a lot of things the journey can relate to you know how she is going to reach this terrace and this greenhouse it can also be that she needs this key to get her further you know on her journey that she needs to open something either literally or figuratively so this is a nice one and here's of course another simple one a pair of wings which is called the wanderers pair of wings there is let me see a trixie nile night owl from another world and i suspect that i will take this not as literal as it says here but that i will take it as a creature an owl and um yeah it is from another world maybe it is from the magic realm that Amber wanted to transport herself to. So yeah, these are all the things that are now on my desk. Let me also <laughs> show you this one because this is a very intriguing one for me. This is this was the first element, an abacus, which is uh, you know that thing with beads on little um, rods. That you use for calculation and it says that it contains a concealed tool or weapon then i pulled this uh, tool which is called uh what well, not called it is a jewel so there's a jewel hidden in the abacus or revealed by the abacus i don't know i'm bad at math and I think Amber is bad at math as, as well, so this will be a very interesting one. And there's also something that it is, it has to do something with the whisper. So it could be that the abacus whispers to Amber, or the jewel that comes from the abacus will whisper to Amber or to somebody else. And the theme here has to do with uncertainty. And when I this card with this um, this clue here, this, this element here, I felt that Amber is very uncertain about herself and uncertain about her math and calculation skills. And it could be that she's uncertain, of course, about other stuff and that this jewel will in some way help her to overcome her uncertainty. So as you can tell, this is very much a fun time to keep the creativity flowing without me having to jump into the actual story itself. It gives me all these different elements and it gives me inspiration and now I feel like I really want to jump in again and have these prepared so that I can, you know, roll the dice and see what happens to Amber and the story. And I always, um, I like to have these things as, um, yeah, as the engine for what I am going to do for the story that I want to, well, I want to know where the story goes. I mean, I'm just as 
much you know in the dark about this whole story as you are and um i don't know about you but if i'm like reading a book or watching a movie or watching a series and you don't know the story yet you are and you, when you're gripped by it you know when you're taken by the story you just want to know well what's next what will happen what will overcome and the people and in this case the creatures in the story and i am at the moment very much um taken by amber and her adventures so i really wanna i really want to know what will happen to her next but um, i felt that i need some more um, fuel <laughs> if you would like some some sparks that's a better work word um creativity sparks to really help the story along and um yeah so i wanted to take you along on this um part of the journey and that's it i'm now going to uh, write all these down in uh in my story journal and then after that i think i will put it in the computer so that i can make little uh, cards from it because i don't want to have it like this and i don't want to have to go um looking in my journal every time i need an element so i will probably make something you know like these little cards but not the, this small because then i cannot take so uh, put so much information on them i think they will be more like this size or this size and um yeah well fairy <laughs> these are also um cards that i will absolutely use again when i am writing when i am inventing the story when i'm having fun with with words and with stories because the these can these can also give you an idea of you know what is this about what what's going to happen and uh, e even if it's not that then it can also be i find it a very nice challenge i'm fiddling with my cards i'm sorry guys <laughs> i just can't stand it when they are not sitting upright in my little wooden box here I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it can be very fun to uh, pull a card from here. Let me let me show you. It can be fun to pull a card and to have a word here. Yeah, here. It says coffee, which is Dutch, um, which means coffee. It's very similar and it can be fun to try to find a way to incorporate coffee in this story. So yeah, um, why did I show you this? Yes, because I'm going to make these into little cards so that I can take them out, set them on my desk and together with the dice, um, yeah, continue to tell the story. So um, that was it for today. I um, I really wanted to show you this and um, so that you can see all the different kinds of steps in my creative process. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you find it inspiring. And uh, yeah, um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you being here, taking the time to, uh, to hang out with me, to watch what I'm up to. And um, if you like it, please consider to give this uh, video a thumbs up. And if you want to um, stay updated, you can subscribe to my channel and then it would be useful to uh, have the notice bell, <laughs> you know, uh, for notifications. If you click on that so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Mm, yeah, do I want to tell you something more? Do I want to leave you with something today? Um, yeah, I want to show you a last clue here, and that is a lantern that grants glimpses of the future. And wouldn't that be nice to have this lantern here so that it can show us a little glimpse of the future of this story. But it is, in all of these clues, that is a thing I know for certain. Okay, thank you so much for watching again. I love you all. Bye-bye.